Um, I'm probably late, okay? I'm probably, probably late. But today we'll be reviewing the drama. It's a 2022 Korean drama with three seasons. Yeah, three seasons. <sighs> and it is Love Featuring Marriage and Divorce. Come on, guys. Have you people seen this movie? Like, seriously, you, if you've seen this movie, this drama, this TV show, you will know that you see when you say ah, she washed her hands to cook the food means like she actually prepared her prepared herself is this local added i i washed my hands so i washed my hands to cook the food for you it, it's not doesn't mean literally washing your hands here yeah. it means i actually prepared to cook this food i did everything for this food i you know i went all out to make this food for you so but the korean you know the producers the director you know they really went they really washed their hands they went all out in this drama this drama kept me awake for days i couldn't stop watching uh, uh, you know like the name says love featuring marriage and divorce you will see three friends you know that work in um, a radio station or something and um, each had their own issues they were all married now the first one is older um, she's like 50 and her husband is a professor he wakes up one day she comes from a rich home but her parents disowned her when she married this guy so she spent all her years they have two kids um, a grown daughter and um, a grown daughter entering college and um, yeah, a younger son so uh, she's everything all her money you know from the walking and typing she'll keep typing and all that she bought a car she bought a car for her husband you know she put him help him through school pay his bills all that cook for him both of them are going to work she will come back cook early morning cook she will roll she will do this flow food flags blah 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 you know she was a committed she was a committed wife she was a professional wife and mother you know so then her husband wakes up one morning and tells her you know what i'm tired of this marriage you see i want to be free everything about you irritates me even the pain patch that you put it smells in my nose i feel so irritated and she just looks at him like oh this is all you can see what of the children see see I have tried. I have tried. I just need to go away. I need to be free. I need to get that divorce. So she was like, okay, you know what? Why don't you just rent an apartment? Just take time. He said, no, he doesn't want to take any time off. Can, can, can. That he wants the divorce. No, 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 no. And then we have the other one. Our husband is so loving, so nice, so, you know, he's manly. He's a medical doctor. I think he's, um, I think he does this uh, plastic surgery you know his father owns a big um hospital and of course he's going to take over when his father his father has retired had retired married to a little bit you know a younger lady who was not that old who was not that young or you know she was also old but not that not as old as the father um she was the one that trained this lady's husband and took care of him when his mom died and all that. So, you know, he's not he's not a man. Meanwhile, she, the stepmother and all that, is crushing on <laughs> her supposed stepson and um all of that. But then, you know, these people they're a loving couple, they have just one child until you know things began to happen. The man started cheating on her and um 
one thing she doesn't like is the cheating because her mom sent her father packing or divorced her father for cheating on her mom with his second three so she was telling her mother she would always be with her mother you should have stayed you should have forgiven father you should have forgiven him you didn't let me spend time with him now see now in the process of coming to see me or whatever he had an accident and died you deprived me of my father so you know that same thing is happening to her her husband is cheating on her you know the supposed loving one she cannot deal you know she can't deal you know, and uh, she was, <laughs> it was, you know, this love featuring marriage and divorce is such an amazing, I can't even, I can't even talk about this drama, you know, the way I would talk about it. Even it deserves a review of like one hour, you're not done reviewing because it is all encompassing. Um, then we have the third person. She she she's so into herself. She's so in love with herself. She's like a star. she's a star, a celebrity. She got married, you know, a raw wind romance. She got married to her husband, who is a lawyer, who loved her so much. But she nags a lot. She complains. She wants, you know, she can like she's so outspoken about what she wants and what she doesn't want i think her husband got tired and wanting led to the other wanting led to the other and then he started cheating so these three women going through so much with you know in their homes in their families and they are not saying anything to each other you know each agrees really going through what they are going through <laughs> they're going through it and um you know, each of them can feel that the other is going through something. Um, I won't really delve into it because I would really want you to see this drama. I really want you to see this drama to understand it. It's for mature minds. It's not for... <sighs> Young girls might not really understand this movie. You know, you have to have got into a particular stage in life for you to sit down and be like, you know, it gave you the real thing, inner thing of what you see in marriages, of what you see, what a lot of people are doing, going through. You know, someone can be nicely dressed and all of that, but they have a lot of insecurities. They have a lot of issues they don't want to share with you. And you won't even imagine that they are having you know, it, it shows a lot of choices, decisions, married women, married men make uh, for the sake of love and for the sake of divorce too. And remarried and remarrying, you know. So um, in the end, these three women got divorced and uh, so many things happened. The drama is wonderful. But what I began to not like was um, the inclusion of ghosts. And um, what's that again? Um, these people that would have come around, um, when someone wants to die, what are they called? I will put it, I will put it on the screen, okay? The inclusion was not needful. I agree, a lot of people, a lot of people were dying, so many things were happening, but it wasn't needful because we did not start like that. It wasn't, it wasn't a mystical um drama a supernatural drama it was just um a drama based on love based on divorce based on hate family drama why are you adding ghosts why are you adding ah the name was just coming to my mouth now why are you adding all those things all of those things you know it kind of like distracted me from where we were headed okay so um another thing too that made me um get a little bit um put off where the change in actors one or two i think two or three actors men actors and actress for that matter uh, i would have expected that you know before the onset of this old drama old tv show they should have been laid down contracts so as to you know make sure that everybody was on board from season one to two to you know to three to the end you know it made it um it wasn't as intense as i wanted it because you know this thing about the change in the character the character it makes you it kind of like distracts you and before you can you know rally around so many things have happened and um Another thing that touched me was um, when one of the parties 
part where you seen who is the medical doctor and his wife got you know were getting separated that whole episode you know like i would always say when people are talking about um trying to confess their feelings to each other or trying to separate from each other it usually takes like a whole of five ten minutes perhaps but you know in this love featuring marriage and divorce i think it's because of the title of the tv show but adequate time was given for this couple you know to sit down and say you know what this marriage is not working this is why i am divorcing you you shin um this is why you know this marriage is not going to work and it took a whole of one episode like almost for i was getting i was drained because you know it went deep 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 into relationship you know the way we hey wahala this korean saying they really beat it like they went deep down into the relationship the everything from step to step you know the couple sitting down and talking and when you would think that you're in a couple's therapy for sure you know and then when you know the new loves were coming especially for this particular one again um when this i think his name is mr sales younger brother was you know asking her out he was like out you know outright you know was up front was like look i want to marry you and he's like oh who have we met we just said maybe hello once or twice is that how you are you know it, it, it talks about new beginnings it talks about you know decisions you make having to move forward from unpleasant um um circumstances unpleasant situations and all of that it talks about you know despite the kids the husband and all of that after divorce there's still life after after divorce you can still start all over again other men can still find you attractive it, it, it's 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 kind of like a therapeutic um tv show that you know women even men should watch um like i said i it, it was all the inclusion of grim um, reapers you know the spirit possession and all of that was annoying you know i didn't expect it in such a powerful tv show like this and they had all everything working for them and so there was no need to include the spirit possession and grim reapers and the spirits waiting for you to die and when you will die and when you will not die kind of thing it was i admit it was sad for those who are dying but then they shouldn't even have added this so this these two things just made it um a tad bit annoying for me and um i just sincerely hope that there will be a season four to clear up everything um the way i want it to end uh, <laughs> which brings me to the end of this movie review this drama review of three seasons love featuring divorce and marriage or marriage and divorce with strong very strong notable actors and actresses that were able to you know take up this is it for my is for mature minds like i said they were able to take up these roles and drive the story the message home okay the plot was so strong Cine the cinematography was awesome was perfect everything the locations chosen the way you know the kids even the kids in this tv show were awesome were amazing you know um it was something that would hold you would keep you and you want to see it over and over again i'm going to be rating this despite the snag of the spirit possession and um every other thing that i mentioned that i didn't like in this drama i'm going to still be rating it a 10 over 10 because you know on a larger scale on a huge scale it was such an amazing tv show we are so realistic you know so so realistic what you would find in every home it's prevalent in every home you know um as much as you want to paint no matter how wonderful the home is there will still be one or two things you know but you know this movie was a wonderful message and everybody you know talked about this drama 
because it was excellent to say the least so um which brings me to the end of this drama review ah uh, i'm so happy today thank you so much for doing this with me up there you'll see my korean movie review my chinese movie review my nigerian movie review and then again my movie reviews thank you so much for doing this with me if you haven't subscribed don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and you know Click on the bell notification to be alerted when new videos come over. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.